Girls, Hugh Hollins, Paul Mahalik, and Wood. And Jason Kidd controlling for Dallas. This was Popeye Jones, Jim Jackson being played by Anthony Mason, and Lorenzo Williams. Everybody touching the ball as George McLeod got his hand on it. Jason Kidd trying to post up. Well, the Mavericks have toned down their three quick three-pointing shooting. And that's a good sign for Jason Kidd to hit any kind of shot because he has been shooting such a poor percentage from the field. Jason Kidd is just under 40% from the floor, which is an improvement over his rookie season. Here is Ewing over Williams. And he's tied the game at two. Dallas comes off a loss here at home on Friday night to the Timberwolves. They were blown out 110 to 84. Actually, Matt, two of their last three defeats have been by 20 six points and Dick Mata talked to the club yesterday with uh, the topic of discussion professionalism in finishing out the season that's a jump ball good play by McLeod and tying up Ewing well professionalism and pride because this game is being seen by a lot of people and they don't want to come in and embarrass themselves of course Patrick Ewing is going to have an overwhelming advantage inside on Lorenzo Williams and it's important for Patrick to hold that tight low post position because many times especially when Patrick gets double teamed he will start to drift away from the basket where he feels more comfortable facing the hoop this a Dallas team that has lost nine straight the last win March 5th here in Dallas they beat the New Jersey Nets at the time they had come off a stretch winning three of four one of their brighter stretches of the season rush shot by Starks and here comes Kidd so dangerous in the open floor Reed was able to slow him down Well, the big concern for the Knicks is Jason Kidd. Of course, his scoring, but his ability to get into the heart of the defense is... Uh he can do so many different things to hurt you defensively, and he can really force the tempo very well, and the Knicks are concerned. George McLeod nearly got the rebound home by Jim Jackson, who was not boxed out. And the rebounding woes continuing early here in this ballgame when John Starks took a shot a little while ago. Nobody on the offensive glass. And the two men on the board, they're standing flat-footed, J.R. Uh, J. Reed and Patrick Ewing. Mason lost the handle, then able to recover. Here's Ewing. The Knicks are not putting up good shots here at the start. No, and there's no reason to rush anything. This is a very poor defensive team, especially on the interior. Hoffer with the strip, but a bad pass picked off by Jackson. McLeod off the break. McLeod, who is certainly one of the leading candidates for most improved player award, hits a two-pointer, which these days is a rarity for George. Eight to two, Dallas with the lead. Hopper got the step. Derek Hopper spent 11 years as a member of the Mavericks. Jim Jackson for three. So the Mavericks up. 11-4. Well, there's one of those quick three-pointers that they, I said earlier they're trying to get away from, but right now the Mavericks are in a very good rhythm offensively, and the tempo certainly favors them. Starks for three. John Starks from downtown. Starks on the interception. Jones got back, and Starks comes up short. Oh, no need to take that kind of shot for John Starks. Yes, they had an advantage, but he could have waited for some help. And both clubs just firing him up. <laughs> and I was talking to the Knicks coaches before the game, and this is the kind of thing that they were concerned about. They did not want to get caught up in this type of game because then they can't settle in on their half-court defense, which is what they're really trying to improve on. Ewing had it knocked away by Kidd, recovered by Reed. J.R. Reed, who has played very well. He has been in the starting lineup. Although when Don Nelson uh, took over, he went with Brad Lowhouse for the most part as the uh, starter. Brad has not seen much action recently, bothered by a sore foot. J.R. Reed has emerged as the starter with Charles Oakley injured. And as Ahmad mentioned, 
Earlier, it looks like that Charles will try to make the return as Kidd is able to nail it down. Hopefully, we'll try to return to the game Tuesday against the Rockets in Houston. 13-9, Dallas with a four-point advantage. Mason posting on the cloud. Here's Jones over to help. And a three-second violation call. Anthony Mason. Well, Anthony Mason, such an important low post threat for the Knicks. But when he gets the ball inside, the Knicks have to start to make a cut, one cut to the basket and get their good spot up positions to make the defense, uh, you know, play that post up and possibly draw the double team. The Mavericks will want to come and double Anthony Mason. Now, Kidd goes to the hook shot. And he thought he was fouled. 15-9, Dallas. It's unusual to see the Knicks try to break down and catch a club in transition. They do right there as Hopper was able to hit over Kidd. 15-11. The Knicks down by four points with five minutes gone by. Well, Jason Kidd is the best low post player for the Mavericks, and they are going to it now the last three times. That's the first one he didn't turn up in those three. In previous meetings between... Jason Kidd and the veteran Derek Hopper. Hopper has had a major advantage. Kidd has so much respect for the former Maverick, Derek Hopper. Timeout is taken with 6.41 remaining in this opening quarter. Popeye Jones able to go glass just uh, moments ago. Now the post up. Jason Kidd with a series of fakes and able to hit over Derek Hopper. And Kidd, again, this time, goes to the repertoire for the sweeping hook. 